yo what's going on everyone what up what up it's your girl miss dj hoodie getting at you guys from my whip and you are listening to another re-up podcast episode i've been kicking these on and just not finishing them so i don't even know if this is gonna be a mashup but yo guess what time it is oh my gosh it is two o'clock in the morning and i am in mesa Arizona and yeah I had an issue um it was a very large order it was going for eight dollars for four miles and um yeah I tried calling the guy because I was stuck at the gate and the guy didn't speak English and he was asking me if I spoke Spanish and I was like no sorry but um yeah, and I uh, I hung up on him, and I was like, let me try and, like, find him. I hope he's outside. And I didn't mean to, like, you know, be rude or anything, but, um, yeah, like, I was just like, you know what, just let me, because we were just on the phone, like, quiet, and I was like, all right, like, let me, let me just try to find him. And so I pulled off on the side of the road, I seen two people just kicking it outside, and one of them was looking on his phone, and I was like, I bet that's him. So I pulled over, and I opened the door, and I was like, Lewis? And he was like, yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. And so I handed it to him and, you know, said thank you and good night. And, yeah, like, I'm just, you know, I'm glad that uh, I found him to give him his large order so but yeah um i don't know how many deliveries i've done um i want to say maybe like eight deliveries so shit um yeah i don't even know okay (laughs) shit my it says that i made fifty dollars and eleven cents i don't even know if i did anything hold on it says I did six trips. I'm on my seventh trip right now, so. Um, let me see, though. Um, I don't know if I did anything on Grubhub. I feel like I maybe did, like, one or two. But, yo, let me tell you. I'm in an area that is traumatizing for me. And Rob knows what I'm talking about. And let's just say in this area, I was always just... Um, yeah, hold on. I, I, I always say I don't want to get into it, and then I just, like, I just kind of end up talking about it, but yeah, this, this area is just, like, not a good area for me, I don't like it, um, it just makes me feel shitty, so, yeah, but I, I'm trying to get over it, and I was on the phone with Rob, and he was sleeping, but I had to call that guy, and when I hung up on the guy, I ended up hanging up on Rob. So I was like, fuck, like, you know, and I want to call him back, but I just don't want to wake him up. So, baby, if you're listening to this, <laughs> sorry, babe. But, um, yeah, I'm on my next order. What am I? Oh, yeah, I'm picking up. Ooh, shit. Somebody got their license plate taking a picture of but yeah um man it's taking me north to talk about and this one is an order that i really wouldn't have taken but uh it's for taco bell going for seven dollars and some cents for five miles so yeah that's not you know it's not really a dollar or two dollars a mile but I don't know. I just I just took it just to keep moving. So this order is for Carrie and she ordered four items and it says that this comes with a drink. God damn it. Uh fuck. Yeah, a medium Dr. Pepper. Uh I want to diet Dr. Pepper right now. But yeah, so I've been out um let's see what time did I Oh, dude, I went to sleep at, like, 6 o'clock, I think, because I was trying to, like, go out and do deliveries, 
like around 5, 5.30. And I was like, I'm tired. I'm really tired. And I was on the phone with Rob and he was like, go in and take a nap. And I was like, no. And then I just ended up going inside. <laughs> and yo, I conked out for like three hours. And even when I woke up and when I started to go back out, I was like, I was feeling, I was feeling like tired like again and then I was like you know what I I gotta stay out and keep moving so that's what I ended up doing and I took a order for I think it was like $14 going 14 miles and I was like "Mm, I don't know if I should do it but I had to get out of that area because I wasn't getting anything I don't know what time Taco Bell closes but shit everything's like closed are you checking in with your app to earn reward points today? No. Hi, you ready to order? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm Uber picking up an order for Carrie M. Carrie M? Yeah. We'll have them work on that one next. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> I had french fries about two hours ago and like from uh, Whataburger. And it kind of wasn't that good. Like, I actually need to throw it out because it's, like, rolling around on my floor. But, um, so, yeah, um, I might stay out for, like, another hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. No idea. But I'm trying to keep it positive. I'm trying to just keep going. And, yeah, I I know I got to eat, though. I got to eat. Um, I had my, um, what is this? I had, what is this? My energy drink, I guess. My water, but, yeah, it's water and then it's like a drink mix that you pour in it. And I'm skeptical to keep drinking it because I watched a TikTok of a guy. It was like an emotional video and he was... Um, he wasn't talking to the camera, but, you know, if you read the captions, he said that he had to give up a kidney to his son because his son uh, lost a kidney due to drinking a lot of energy drinks. And I guess he was drinking, like, a lot of monster energy drinks. And I was like, holy shit. So, you know, you don't think about those things, right? Like, you just think, like, oh, I need caffeine. I need something to wake me up to keep me going, doing what I need to do. And, like, it's, like, fucking with you, you know? Like, it's, it's taking out something in your body. I mean, I don't know. You just can't fucking trust anything that you put in your body. Um, yeah, but anyhow. So, yeah, I'm probably going to stay out for, like, another hour or two. And I am starting to get sleepy, but I feel like I can go a little bit more. Uh, maybe about an hour or so. Maybe another hour would be just fine. But, um... Yeah, I'm probably going to get something to eat. Uh, probably get like a chicken sandwich from Jack in a Box or something. And um, uh, maybe get me like a Diet Dr. Pepper somewhere. I don't know. But uh, so far, so good, I think. Um, I'm kind of getting worried that my mileage is like me doing a dollar a mile. And to me, that's not good. But I've been way, way south, and now I'm way north now. And I'm pretty sure the map is going to show that I'm just all over the fucking place. Um, Let's see. Today is Sunday, September 15th. All right, thank you. And there's a drink. Do you have, like, a plastic bag as well? Yeah, yeah. And I'm asking for one. You Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. Why would you not put it in a fucking plastic bag? I don't get that. Oh my gosh, we're getting another one. No, three dollars sixty-three cents, going two point seven miles. Nope. You got me fucked up. I'm trying to be careful. 
Let me get situated. Throw these in the back because I don't like it in the front. And I need more drink carriers. Verify. Order verified. Yes, we got the stupid ass drinks. Bet you this is going to an apartment. So back south. Um, meet at the door. I'll come outside. All right. So let me send her a message. And she has a pin, I think. New message from Kariem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Let me see. I'm gonna turn around because I don't want to get stopped by the traffic light. So yeah, I think I'm taking this to um, a business. I'm pretty sure somebody working late night ordering their lunch. So that's pretty cool. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, I'm actually having like a really good smooth night. All right, so um, since I'm only gonna be out for about an hour or two, um, I don't know how long this episode is gonna last. Unless I'm doing a mashup, but there's, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of don't see the point, right, in releasing something. Unless it's just to give you guys something to listen to as you're, like, doing stuff. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, I will check you guys back at Carrie's. So, yeah, don't forget to add, rate, comment, subscribe, follow, and share. And, um... I'll get back at you guys for our next pickup. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the girl, she was nice. But there was a fucking ugly ass janitor. And she was a bitch. She saw me walking up and she was like ignoring me. And she couldn't just be like, like, hi, can I help you? She just, yeah, she just, as soon as I walked up, she turns away from me. And it's like, hello? Ugh, I don't know. I don't... You're a fucking janitor. <laughs> like, is that why you're mad? Okay, Jack in a Box. Um... No, I'm not gonna do that. It was, it was $2 a mile, but... See, here's the thing, and I hate to be this way... But if people think that they don't need to tip, and they just think that they're, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, $6.56 going 22 miles. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll head down towards the, um, to the Jack in a Box. And I think there's like a McDonald's around there too. Might be open. But that's the thing. It's like, for the lowest, like they, they, for the lowest that they could get their order, they're going to do it. And so I reject, it, it was $2 a mile. So it was like two miles going for like $4 and some cents. If I were to take that order, they would be like, oh, okay, I, I can only tip a dollar and I'll still get my shit. And yo, like when I get somebody's order and it's like, like a couple bags and it's heavy, like, and, and I'm getting, like, the bare minimum pay, I will reject that order. And I would be like, I'm not hauling all of this for this amount. You, you need to pay me better because we don't know where we're dropping it off. Okay, $11 for 10 miles for McDonald's? No. Eight dollars, ten miles, no. And people just think that that if you accept it once and they're just gonna keep doing it. And it's like, dude, like you're you are never going to eat. Oh, here's another one too. Um Oh my god, it would have been a sick ass fucking delivery. I screenshotted it too. I might share it on the White Run podcast, but it was a order from Popeyes. 
it was going like five miles and it was $38 and some cents. And I received that order. Oh my God, 222, 222, babe, 222. <laughs> okay, $7.13. Um, where am I? For five miles. I guess I'll do it. So I have to go back the other way. Um, and the thing that pissed me off is that the customer service, they're all about chat bots now. So I couldn't get through to a person to be compensated for the miles that I've driven to get to Popeye's only to, for it to be like, oh, uh, yeah, they're closed. So I screenshot it, that motherfucker, and I'm going to try to hit them up tomorrow and be like, I would like to be compensated the $3 that I drove to to try to get this, this order because that's what, that's typically what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to compensate you for reporting that the restaurant is closed. And the thing about it is, too, is that the reason why it was $38 in the first fucking place for five miles is because it's closed. And all these drivers that are accepting this high pay order um, and and going to these chat bots, like, they're not removing that order from the system. They're not, re they're not removing it. Um, and it just circulates around to, to all the drivers. And none of us are getting compensated. So if we were to talk to a person, not a fucking bot, the person would remove, they would remove that order from it being passed around. And they're just doing that because they don't want to fucking... They don't want to pay the compensation. And it's not even a lot of money. Like, you only get like $3, I think. Two or $3 for reporting and proving that it's closed. Because sometimes they'll ask you to take a picture of the location it being closed. And, yeah, I was sitting right out in front. Yep. I was sitting right up in front and it was closed. But I was talking to a fucking bot, so me reporting that it's closed, it's still circling around and I'm pretty sure if I were to go back to that area, it would hit me again and the pay would be a lot more higher. But it's fucking bullshit because it's like, yo, like, give me half of that pay. <laughs> But anyhow, it's, yeah, this disorder's taking me way the fuck on the other side. It's fucking annoying. But it's taking me back to the McDonald's that I was at earlier. Um, when I, to the man that doesn't speak English. <laughs> I'm going right back to that McDonald's. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. Whatever. I'm making funds, and I'm hoping for an add-on. That would be nice, but we shall see. <sighs> but, yeah, that's where I'm going, and uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. You guys are all doing good, and holy shit. Oh, oof. I don't know if this one's even... This one should be open because if it was closed, it would be, like, a lot more higher, right? Just like what I just explained to you. But, yeah, this, is, this isn't this is the one. I thought it was the one where, where I dro dropped it off and <laughs> to the guy that didn't speak English. Yeah, this is a different, different one. Yeah, this one's taking me, like, way farther out than that one. But anyhow, it should be fine. I think it was Jack in a Box, right? I think that's what I said. McDonald's? Was that McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's. I don't know why I said Jack in a Box. I think that was the one that I declined. 
Okay. Um, I will get back to you guys after I pick up the order, so hang tight. You know what? I don't even know where I left you guys off at, but I am here at Taco Bell. Um, this one was a pretty good one. I think it was like 7 or $8 going like a mile and some. And uh, the previous one that I dropped off, oh my gosh, it was a McDonald's order. And when I was at the window at McDonald's, this lady said something to me. And I just, I just didn't hear her, you know what I'm saying? And she just, you know, whether this bitch is tired, you know, she was like an older lady. And like, I don't know, she... She just looked fed up with me, like, asking me something. And I was like, I'm sorry? And then she said it again. And I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't. And then she's just like, let me just get it. And I was like, all right, whatever the, whatever the fuck you're talking about. And um, she comes back with this card. It's like a little, like a punch card or whatever. And she was like, yeah, she's like, if you come, if you come a pick up, do a pickup like six times in a row, um, you get like, like a free something. I didn't even look at it. Yeah, it's called a make delivery driver frequency card. And she punched it already. But um, I, I can't even tell you what you get, but. She got mad at me because I didn't, I didn't understand what she said, and. Well, you got a pound yogurt. Right? Yes. All right, that's the drink for him. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. Thank Thanks. You. Okay, I left this location because, like, do like don't fucking treat me like shit. Just because I didn't fucking hear hear what you said. I mean, I don't know. Like, people, they just got, like, legit low tolerance. And it's like, okay, I get it. I get low tolerance, too, about people. But, like, I just, you know, like, I just didn't hear you. Like, I don't know. Like, that's just, just crazy to me. But, hold on. Let me, let me put this in the back because I don't want this in the front seat. Oh shit. $15 for two deliveries for 20 miles. No. Uh, okay, so this one is going to a house, I'm guessing. Man, I am so on a Tempe border. I was not intentionally trying to come out this way. Oh my gosh, $6 for 8 miles, no. And you know what? I know, I mean, because I, I order delivery too sometimes from time to time. $7 for 8 miles, no, sorry. I know sometimes people, like, they don't know what to tip, right? And... And I know, I don't know, like, I just think that people, they just don't consider the miles and where it's coming from. So, <laughs> man. And base pay is like $2. So if people don't tip, we're only getting $2. And I think people think that that's good enough because they just straight up think that we're a bunch of fucking losers. And it's like, um, who doesn't have a vehicle? To go get their own food. And uh, who's not being generous and thoughtful and considerate with their tips? Losers. Anyway! <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this one is going 1.6 miles. Oh, my God. Going west to fucking Tempe. I think I'm in Tempe, you guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. But, um, yeah, the time right now is 2.56, almost 3 o'clock. So, I think the last I got back at you guys was from that fucking, oh my god. See, $30 for McDonald's, McClintock, and 
watch. Watch, it's not gonna be open. I'm accepting it. Thirty dollars and forty-two cents. It's closed. Who wants to bet that they are closed? Write it in the chat. Do you think they're open or do you think they're closed? I promise you, it's closed. And even though they're on college campus, they should be open 24 hours because they've been making a lot of money off of these college kids. Staying open 24 hours? Bet your ass it is closed. $30.42. Unless these kids are pranking. And I won't scratch that off the table either. You know, I'd be like, oh, let, let's fuck with these drivers. And pretend like we're going to give them like a $30 tip or like a $20 tip. That way we get our order quick. Because some motherfuckers are just evil like that. They just want to fuck around like that. So, yeah, anyhow. So, we're going to drop off this Taco Bell order to a house. Yay. Not an apartment. And, oh, dude, that McDonald's order that where the lady was, like, rolling her eyes at me because I didn't fucking hear and understand what she said. Like, that, that question is, like, totally, like what <laughs> you know and I'm, I'm thankful that she was like oh you know here you go but it was just like bitch I've never heard of such thing I didn't even know you guys could do that you know what I mean but um yeah when I dropped it off at that location it was on the second floor and the parking lot smelled like vomit spoiled milk shit and piss at the same time and I was like oh I better watch my step I don't want to step in anything disgusting, but man, that, that shit, if I were to kick it outside in that for one whole minute, I would have drove off with a fucking headache. It was that bad. Okay, so the house number is 30. It should be over here somewhere. It says leave by the gate. Yes. New message from Uber. Leave that door. Leave by gate. You got it. Okay, let me let the dude know that I'm here. Now let's go pick up this fake ass McDonald's order. I don't know why I'm taking it knowing that I'm not going to be talking to a person, you know, when it comes to customer service. And I know I'm not going to be compensated for my time going over there. They're two or three dollars. I fucking know that. Um, and like, I'm just, I'm wasting time. But if it's on college campus and the majority of the restaurants, they are open, especially like on the weekend. So it's a weekend. And, you know, I, I am willing to take a chance. I mean, I'm already way the fuck out here, so why not in it? And it's only a mile away. So, okay, so we're going to go pick up this. <laughs> Hopefully we can pick up this McDonald's order because that'd be fucking sick. That'd be sick as fuck. Like, you know how happy I would be? To actually, like, receive one of these really big orders. But, yeah. So, the time right now is 3.03. And, yeah, we should be there in about two minutes. And, I don't know, maybe I'll... Um, yeah, I was just about to say something as if they'd be open. But, yeah, I'll let you guys know once I get there. So, stay tuned. Holy fuck, you guys. They're open. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking they're tip baiting. And I don't think I have ever been tip baited before. This might be 
A tip bait. Holy shit. Some stupid asses. Oh, they're closed? They're closed? Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. So they're closed. Oh man. I, oh my god. This is fucking. Yeah, the dude was like, they're closed due to a fucking menu update. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, hold on. Let's see what they got. So, they got the 20. Oh, yeah. They're like breakfast now. Oh, shit. You know what? They, they might have done the order because... Oh, man. Let me take a chance. Oh, my God. Please. Hello. Welcome to McDonald's. Hi, um, Hi. I'm Uber picking up, uh... Okay, second window. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god, did I just get the... Oh, I hope it's not a tip bait, man. I just... That's the one that I'm gonna be... Oh, you know, and I didn't even screenshot it. I just took it and I was like, why she's motherfuckers be closed and all this other types of shit. Oh, dude... I'm, I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking scared. Dude, because it's just a matter of getting it in my hands. Because if I pull up to the window and they're like, I'm sorry, we can't do that order. We're serving breakfast now. Like, I'd be like, oh my God. And then the other thing is, once I have the order, right? I'm, I'm trying to manifest this, right? Once I have the order... And I drop it off. I don't want them to take away the tip. I don't want them to take it away. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to be tip baited. And I want them to give me the order. I want them to give me the order. I want them to be like, you know what? I mean, even if the fries are, are toothpicks. Even if the burgers tastes like sausage breakfast patties i don't care <laughs> like give me the lunch and dinner items that they ordered so i can collect this 30 dollar fucking order holy shit <laughs> all right i'll let you know what the fuck is going on so hang tight you guys Yo, I'm here at the window. Let's see what they give me. Hi. Um, 3FC. Oh my god. Why is he shaking his head at me? I thank you. Yeah, he's pissed for some reason. And I don't know if you guys heard that just now, but he's like, we don't have anything. So, holy shit. Dude, I almost canceled this order. Oh my gosh. And I didn't even want to message the dude and be like, yo, they may not make your order. But I'll try. Hold on, let me back this. Because I want to. I want to deliver this and collect. I'm like, I'm just excited. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a 20 piece I don't know okay this one's for Miriam Miriam Oof. man you came in close all right so <laughs> to an apartment second floor you know what for 30 bucks you better come to the door and give me the fucking um, pin because this one, it comes with a pin. So she has to give me the pin. All right, so let's. Oh, dude, I'm tripping out. Like, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm getting too excited because I really don't know. 
if I'm going to be tip baited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she is 2.2 miles. Oh, you know what? And the freeway is closed. So I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to just go. I'm just going to go this way. Yeah, see, don't, man, I'm telling you, I'm a fucking pro, all right? Like, I fucking pay attention, I know what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I don't fucking play with me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on hold, and, uh, yeah, I'll let you know what's going on, so hang tight. Oh, you know what? I actually met them. They're so nice, but... Yeah, I hope they give me the whole 30 $16 for two orders for 35 bucks. No. Yeah, I, and I'm so glad they were waiting outside. <laughs> yeah, they, they were probably waiting a long time, to be honest. Probably no one wanted to take their order. So, there's this guy and this girl. They're just kicking it outside. They're probably... Probably, and they're like parked in an awkward way like they're parked along um some like some garages uh this one is a match i hop five miles for seven dollars 26 cents no they can have that oh shit i missed my turn fuck Okay, dude, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope those kids let me keep the money. Unless it's Uber, like, it just keeps going up because people aren't taking it, so. Oh, dude, yes. So, man, I don't know. Hold on, let's see what. Holy shit. I did 10 trips total. $95.99. So $96. See that last trip? Remember, it was 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I only got paid base pay $2.10. So shit. Two deliveries, twenty-four dollars and fifty-nine cents, going seventeen miles. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Should be fine. All right, where are we going? Okay, so we're going to at where? Where the fuck are we going? Gus's New York Pizza. Oh, I know where that's at. Yeah, they're open twenty-four. Hours, but is this a double order? No. Where's the next pickup? Let's see. Um, OP Doe. Yeah, I don't know. Just as long as the pay uh goes over the miles, dude. I'm at a hundred bucks. So shit. This is a really good morning. Holy shit. I need to get back into doing late nights like this because, man, I was a fucking beast. Like, I was just out there. Like, I just never went home. But, yeah. Just people, fucked up people got in the way and they just had their fucking hands in my shit, you know, taken from me and all of that. And it just... It just traumatized me, I guess, in a way. Like, it was just like, are you fucking kidding me? But, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting back used to it. So. And we just gotta... We just gotta keep pushing forward, man. Like, I know I keep saying it, and then I, like, back out all the time. But it's just like, man, like... Sometimes I just feel like I can't just be... I can't fuck with it, you know? Like, I just... I can't... Like, for me, I don't want to stay in shit, so it's like, all right, I'm out. Like, I'm not, I'm no longer present. Like, you know, I, I'd rather 
be the fuck somewhere else and it is avoidance and it is running away but it's just like you know what like i would rather put this energy into something else so therefore in my opinion i feel like it's not running away it's just like you know what like there's other things that i could be giving like positive things i could be giving my energy to and this right here is not one of them i'm not happy being in this area and i'm not happy being out like having to try to defend myself trying to make money you know what i'm saying so fuck all that but yo we're gonna pick up this pizza and i got my i got both of my pizza bags um yeah my parents they had my other pizza bag and they're not doing deliveries right now so yeah i got my pizza bag back so <laughs> and um hopefully it's not one of those ginormous ones uh anyway so yeah we are two minutes away from gus's new york pizza oh man i should get me a slice that'd be fucking dope yeah i might get me a slice see what's going on but yeah this morning this evening is a really good night and i wish it was like this all the time I wish I could just get back into doing this like I used to and sometimes I miss it because um, I was numb as fuck and it was because of that stupid ass made me numb and I don't know I just wish I could just be numb for myself and not think about uh, people trying to talk shit or like you know what I'm saying like just not let other people's behaviors get to me because I know that's what stops me or I just allow it to I just, I allow it to get in the way you know what I'm saying so I don't want to do that anymore and um, I wish I could just be numb but yeah everybody's <laughs> everybody doesn't know where they're going okay bitch get out the way okay so um yeah we're pretty much there and i'll get back at you guys once i pick up this pizza and or pizzas brb holy shit so ricky ordered two 14 inch supreme pizzas uh one two liter of soda and oh shit three three 14 inch pizzas how much was that going for fuck oh yeah this is a double order so i wouldn't know all right so let me see if i can fit all these pizzas in the pizza bag that i got i feel like it would be better in that grub hub pizza bag let me snag it yeah for uh ricky r with uber Oh my god, I used to pick up here a lot. I'm telling you, this shit fucking just me. Ricky R? Ricky R? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Because I don't want these to be... Oh shit. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a heavy order. Worth it? No. It needs to be $7,000. DP Doe? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, even this place I used to pick up from a lot. Man, I am so in Tempe, and I'm iffy about it. It's just, man, it's crazy. It's nothing but bad memories for me, man. And being here right now, I'm really hoping that I'm healing you know, I really hope that I'm healing from it because, yeah, it's just all, all fucked up. Definitely used to, yeah, we dined here one time. That's why for me, it's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Um, is this compact? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Alrighty, let me pick up the second order. Be right back. 
So Nick N is first. He's the one that has this last pickup. Um, I think he got pulled pork and cinnamon sticks. Oh my god, he is nine and a half miles north. Oh my god. Why, dude? No! <laughs> Alrighty. So, I messaged him and... Yeah, we're gonna leave. They're playing music hella fast. You know what I don't like? And I'm gonna be fucking straight up. I don't like when they try to have you. Like, oh, can you uh, confirm the pickup for me? And it's just like... It's just the way that they ask you, I guess. Like, it's just like, dude, I'm not stealing the food. But, yo, you fucking shithead drivers out there, you better quit fucking taking people's orders. Because you're, they fucking steal food. And that's why they're, they're having, they're having you do that. Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, I'm stupid. And this was the the same fucking, um, like, crosswalk that some fucking Barbie, she was just taking fucking forever. And then I was like, I damn near hit her. And I was like, fucking move, dumb bitch. And she was, like, throwing up her hands like, what, what? And I'm just like... Uh, that's just what you want. You want shithead attention. Not gonna give it to you. Just fucking move, bitch. Alrighty, so... Uh, Sezo will be there in like 13 minutes. And, um, yeah. Should be fine, right? Should be fine. Okay, so the pin dropped me in a apartment complex for the pizza. And I called him, and I think this motherfucker's like fucked up. So, I'm not answering that. So, um, I'm just gonna just go over the wall because, yeah, he he doesn't know where the fuck he lives. So uh, maybe he ordered for his homeboy or something. So, um, you know, it's fine. I, I pretty much know what to do. Um, they're just being fucking idiots right now. So, I don't know how to get... Okay. Yeah, they're just being dumb. He's like, oh, uh, it looks like we're... What did he say? We're like over the wall or something like that, he said. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what apartment complex he's from. But, I don't know. I'm just going to wait. One, two. What is this? One, two, one. Oh, shit. Unless they were off a number. I don't know. Let me try that stupid ass again. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> The guy that I seen, his name is Eduardo, and, like, he was running around, and I was like, yo, you want to ride back? And he was just like, he's like, no, it's all good, and I was like, alright, cool, and then I was on the phone with that dude that, I mean, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry about my friend, I, I, I was talking to Eduardo, Eduardo was like, oh, I'm sorry about my friend, he doesn't live here, and he's the one that ordered the pizza, so I predicted that right i was like yeah unless you know he had his homeboy order it <laughs> so that shit just made me laugh but um you know what i think i'm gonna call it a night um yeah like what the fuck is this shit oh my gosh yeah seven dollars seven miles no all right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Yo, I'm in Phoenix slash Tempe. I am hella far away. And, yo, let me tell you. I don't know if it was this order and the other order because I did a double pickup. I only got $4.82. And 
and I don't know how many miles I drove, so yeah, fucking crazy. Alright, so let me be done driving. I'm stopping my miles, so yeah, but I'm gonna head home. Um, it's 422 right now. Yo, like I'm just yeah, I'm hungry. I need to rest my face. <laughs> four dollar tip i wonder who that one was yeah the guy was like oh we have we have like um we bought pizza for like five people and i was like all right i was like yeah it's a pretty big order so yeah cool kids and i didn't want the dude to think that i was trying to kidnap him but you know because that's a pretty big complex and he was like, oh, we're like way, way back there. So I was like, you want to ride back? And he's like, no, I'm all good. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I just threw all those fucking pizzas on him <laughs> plus the drink. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, I think I did okay. Just really hungry. Um, and then today, later on, I have an Amazon block. And, yeah, I <laughs> I don't know if you guys follow me on X, but um, I went live on Spaces, and I was, like, bitching about Amazon. And it's not really worth you guys go checking out because it was, like, I was just going in and out. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but... Um, yeah, like it just it. What's, it, what's today? So today's Sunday. Um, yeah, like I was just going in and out, so it was like breaking up. But um, yeah, I was bitching about Amazon, and yeah, something else is going on with Amazon. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, and I will probably tell you guys in on the Y Run podcast so I'll drop a link so you guys can so you guys can check it out but um yeah fucking crazy man but yeah that is it for this episode and I'm surprised that um I actually finished <laughs> this episode so therefore it's not gonna be a mashup um uh, it's fine right but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys too made a lot of money and you know try to keep in a positive mood and uh, don't tell me that they closed did they close this one? no they didn't okay. I thought this um, the highway was closed going from east to west but going west to east it's open so try to stop me from coming home but anyhow um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget to add rate comment subscribe follow and share thank you for listening and i will check you guys in the next podcast yay